Uh, next one I'm going to introduce is this section in tools. Okay, so let me try to change data set. So in the previous session, we introduced about the slice view, which you can see 2D images here and do some quick measurements. And this section view to display X, Y, X, Z, and Y, Z. Sometimes you want to display this single slice in the 3D view in order to do a snapshot with the 3D object. How to do it? In Maris, we provide three different section in tool. The first very basic one is called also slicer here. So to add an object, we usually add from these uh, shortcut icons. So you can see also slicer here, which I will introduce very soon, and uh, also oblique slicer and the clicking plane here. So these are three section in tools in Imaris we can use. So first, also slicer. So once I click this icon, you can see this object immediately added into the object list. And uh, by clicking this object, you can see this also slicer. You can see the object properties here. And also in the display window, you will notice there is additional uh, like yellow edge rectangle here. This is the also slicer we just uh, added. Okay. So to change the position of this uh, slicer, we can adjust by adjusting this slice position in the object properties. So usually when we view the uh, slicers, we will turn off the volume turn off the volume in order to see the, the slicer uh, clear, more clear way like this. So adjust the position by changing the position in this slicer uh, position bar, or you can change the mouse to select mode here. And by holding the left mouse key, you can drag the slicer to different Z position and the position information is here. And not only uh, the single slice you can display, we can also show a specific volume actually here, extended section. So if you increase this number, you will be able to see the extended, like Z projection actually, if you change this to the maximum number. Actually, this is the Z projection here. All right, so now we are on the perspective view. So Imaris gives you this uh, perspective uh, frame. If you want to display a very uh, flat images in 2D, or when you open the 2D images, sometimes you may want to change to the orthogonal view do a reset. So now it looks pretty flat, like in 2D here. So this is the also slicer you can use to see the single Z slice in the 3D view. So not only we can see the XY plane, we can also change to the XZ and the YZ if you want for the different slicing. And we can add not only one also slicer, but multiple also slicers. So you can display this kind of uh, section in, in 3D view by adding multiple also slicers like this. And if you disable the frame, you will see this kind of the 3D section. And you can take a snapshot or make a movie using this 
uh, 3D section display like this. Okay, so you can add multiple also slices. So sometimes uh, we want to do the slicing, not only based on the X, Z, Y, Z, or X, Y plane, but we want to do a more uh, free rotation or free angle slicing. Uh, in that case, we can use another slicing tool called, called oblique slicer here, next to the also slicer, oblique slicer. So let me disable. Uh, delete this also slicer first. Okay, so add oblique slicer. So you can see when I add oblique slicer, you can see the similar similar plane as also slicer with this uh, control stick. So if you change your mouse to a select mode, you can actually drag this uh, large part of the stick to change the position and the small size stick is for you to rotate the slicing angle like this. So you can do a more uh, freehand uh, free uh, angle uh, slicing like this. Okay, you can change to any angle you want by change the position of this uh, stick. Okay, so it's similar, but with uh, ability to change the angle of slicing, not just you know, based on the X, Y, X, Z, or Y, Z. Also, we can do the uh, extended section here, same as the also slicer. and we can recenter here. So that is the uh, oblique slicer. So in the oblique slicer, uh, when taking the snapshot, if you don't want to see this uh, control uh, stick, then a small tip is to click on the other object, any object, either frame or volume. So the control stick in oblique slicer will, will be hide it from the display. So you can now uh, take a snapshot here without this uh, stick. Okay, so that is the oblique slicer. Also, you can add multiple oblique slicer as well, if you like, to display the uh, cross section of your uh, image data. The last section in tool is called a uh, clipping plane here. This uh, scissor uh, shortcut, scissor shape shortcut here. So when I add the clipping plane, you can see the similar items as in, or control stick as in the uh, oblique slicer. So you can clip the data by adjusting this uh, control stick and the change the angle of the clipping plane by changing the position of this thinner uh, control stick like this. So the difference between the clipping plane and the oblique slicer or also slicer is it really it actually uh, clip out the other part of the data like this. Okay, so you can see the cross section from here, actually. You can see the, this part of the data like this. And the clipping plane only clip out the object below it in the object list. So now my frame and the volume is below clipping plane. So the clipping plane will clip out both objects. If I move the frame above clipping plane like this, the clipping plane will not clip the frame here. 
like this. Okay, so uh, in the future, we will introduce how to create a surface. But after the surface is created, for example, like these images. For this image, we have some uh, surface. We have some surface and the original volume like this. We can use the clipping plane to display the the creation of the surface in the animation, something like this. So if I move my volume above clipping plane, so now my clipping plane only uh, clip the surfaces below it. So when I change the position of the clipping plane. So let me try to get a new one, clipping plane here. So I move to here, okay. So when I display the clipping plane, you can see it looks like the surface is created from the real signal like this. So in the animation, we will uh, introduce how to make this kind of uh, animation later. But this kind of effect it uses the clipping plane functions in Imaris actually. Like this. Okay. Like this service uh, generation. Here. Okay, so by re rearrange this position, we can see the different uh, effect by using the clipping plane. Okay. So that is the uh, three uh, sectioning tool we can use in Imaris. So for clipping plane, we have the option to uh, hide or show this frame. Hide or show this frame here and also the manipulator here. So you can dis disable it anytime when you want to take a snapshot. All right, so using the clipping plane, you can actually see the middle see through the middle of the uh, object like this. That is the main difference between the clipping plane and the uh, public slicer or the also slicer. 